Hello and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. I just finished recording the last episode. Uh, I think I might have had the volume a little bit loud on that one, so my apologies. I have adjusted it just the tiniest bit. I still might need to fiddle with it a little more. Um, also, I might not be talking as loudly as I sometimes do just because of my allergies and just have had a horse voice. Um, oh, we should probably go. Oh, that's right. We have to talk to a whole lot of people because of our new partner here, Kid. Bronco the Kid, who's trying to find all them handsome fellers. I was leaning towards Elsie just because I need to go stand next to them again. Just reminded me of Elsie, but I know Jasmine would probably also be interested. And we know Jasmine likes to draw. Nope, there's Jasmine, so that's not that's not Billy. Yeah, Jasmine's way too little. So I'm still sticking uh oh. Uh hey there, pretty lady. Okay. So we know it's not Jasmine. But see, it's not much taller. It's about the same height as Jasmine. So who is Bill? Who is this Bronco? Is it Bronco? Bronco the kid. Hey there, pretty lady. That's cute. I got you this here little dolly. It's got to be Elsie, but it seems short for Elsie now. Mm. Uh, stranger danger. I'm gonna <laughs> scream. <laughs> stranger danger. I actually use that around the house, but just to be silly when... Never mind. <laughs> anyway, too, too much info here. I'm gonna scream, oh, oh no. Uh, sorry, don't do that. I I'll leave you alone. Look, see, I'm leaving. Aunt Heidi says never trust anyone with a mustache who hasn't been specifically cleared by Aunt Heidi. Have a nice day. <laughs> She's like me when I was a little kid. I, I didn't like beards. I was, I was worried about beards on men, even like my, my dear, dear cousins, who I adore. Well, they're my mom's cousins, so they're quite a bit older than me. I adore them. They're both wonderful, wonderful people. But those beards freaked me out. See, that's got to be Elsie. But yeah, whenever the dogs get like a little too antsy, you're jumping on me and Tom's like around. I'll say, stranger danger. I need an adult. <laughs> Um, yeah, I want to go turn in that quest. Follow me, horse. Follow me. Oh, gosh, it's just going to keep... That's not the specialist I told you to hire, Trudy. Oh, poor Trudy. Uh, well, I talked to your guy, and uh, he was too expensive. In fact, when I made him an offer, he laughed on the telegram. He wrote... Ah ha 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 ha! <laughs> With that kind of offer, I doubt you could even get Bronco the Kid. Ah ha ha ha, and so on and so forth. So I got in touch with Bronco the Kid. Hilarious. Doesn't sound like the loftiest of recommendations. And isn't he a bit short for a bounty hunter? I don't see why height has anything to do with it. Whoa, hold up there, Minister. Don't matter your size. Right? Just so long as you know how to rumble. Well, my mistake. I take that back. Well, we don't need him to fight, Logan. Just track him down. Right, Sheriff? Uh, yeah, that too, I guess. I'm just saying. Let's give the guy a chance. <laughs> All right. I want to just turn in my Civil Corps commission because I think it might be the final day. Hi, Nemo. Here, let's move this hammer down. I'm going to put that in... Oh, God. Inventory is B. I'm going to... I. It's definitely less damage than our daggers. I might want to make a better hammer if we get a recipe. I pen. I did your commission. Oh, see me? I can somersault. Hey, nice one. I didn't think anyone would be able to pull this off. And hey, look at you. You've still got all your teeth. You really got the better of your old friend, didn't you? Seems like only yesterday I was giving you combat tutorial. They grow up so fast. All right, and I think he wanted to tell us about his birthday. Aha! Before I forget, make a note of this in that little organizer of yours or whatever it is. The 8th of summer is National Pen Day. Make sure to clear up your schedule to give yourself time to celebrate the glorious protector of Sandrock. Oh, Lord. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> he said it too. All right, so oh wait, I have that going. Let's just keep going to these different areas. Hi, horsey. Sorry, I keep trying to somersault. I'm still so used to the controls from Porsche with mounting the horse. 
Hi, Deputy Captain. Hey there, Bronco. Justice is my name, and justice is my game. This here's my buddy, Unsure, the deputy in training. Howdy. I like Unsure. Uh, howdy, y'all. We just wanted to come find you and let you know, just because we're working in different branches, don't mean we can't work together. Really, you need anything. And I mean anything. Just catch up with one of us, and we'll do our best to help you out. That sounds swell, fellas. Thank y'all kindly. You got anything for us at the present? Ah, uh, it's all just the, the beginning stuff right <laughs> now. I bet y'all got plenty other to do rather than my, uh, stuff. Paperwork, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Actually, we got a jump start on our paperwork a couple of days ago. Cleared out our schedule so we can aid you in tracking down that darn scoundrel Logan and his gang. We're with you all the way, Bronco. Okay. Oh, yeah, that feller. Well, the uh, truth of it is, I... Uh, hmm? I'm a hard-boiled lone wolf detective on the edge. I'm a loose cannon. I play by my own rules, <laughs> see? I can't let you good <laughs> eggs like yourself get mixed up with a renegade custard like me. I play by my own rules, see? Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Well, if you change your mind, we're mostly free these days. Mostly free, okay. Glad okay. y'all understand. Listen, it's a, uh, it's just better this way. Don't worry, we can all celebrate together once we catch those hunkish highwaymen. <laughs> so long. Dang it! It's always like this. Specialists, flying pigs, ACI. They think they're so hot just because they get a fatter paycheck. <coughs> hunkish highwaymen? Yeah, right. Unsure. Oh, hey, how you holding up? Building anything cool? Uh, doesn't he seem weird to you? Folks in the biz who don't join the corps are all like that. They think they're better than us grunts. I think he's awesome. Okay, Come I do on, have to build man. that shield though. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much, Builder. He might be a loose cannon that plays by his own rules, but supposedly he gets results. I do like Justice. He could also be a wooable candidate. But he did seem a bit off. Hmm. Well, take her easy. See ya. All right, then. Come on, horse. On to the next one. Turn, turn, turn. We'll go this way. It's closer. Nemo. I still haven't jotted down gifts and stuff I need to start giving out. Oh my gosh! Are you Ernest? The Ernest? The famous rider? Oh, hey there. I don't know about famous, but yes, I am he. Wow! Holy smokes! My, my heart feels like it's about to jump out of my chest. Oh my. Oh, uh, well, if you're <laughs> not feeling well, perhaps I can meet you later? I can always make time for a fan. N no, it's just my nerves. I just can't believe it's really you. Oh my gosh, in Book 8, Detective Ned versus the Crab King, when I found out it was the butler all along, like, how did you even think of that? Ah, you like that, huh? Hmm, well, it's all about subverting expectations. That's just brilliant. I, I, I have my copy right here. C could you sign it for me? Sure thing. Who should I make it out to? Oh, wow, uh... Eh, bruh, uh. Well, my friend Andy is an even bigger fan than I am, so make it out to him, pl pl please. So are you somebody named Andy we haven't met yet? Cause I can't, like, Elsie doesn't have a pooch. Unless there's some padding in there, and you seem shorter than Elsie, so now I'm wondering if there's a character we just haven't met yet or that I'm forgetting about. That's really considerate of you. He's very lucky to have a friend like you. I do have to be going, but thank you so much for supporting my work. Here you are, and so long. E yes sir <laughs> Yeah, too short for Elsie. What's your major malfunction, Builder? <laughs> Why are you always sneaking up on people? Who's this Andy? Uh -huh. Andy is a friend. Yes, and a very cool one at that. And nope, before you ask, he is not a member of that Hungish Highwayman's group. 
Oh. Wait, was... I, okay. There are lots of Andes out there, and at least some of them ain't bandits. Highly presumptuous, Builder. I'm going to have to look back at, presumptuous. at a previous episode, but wasn't there like a younger kid or something with a group of highwaymen? Is that who this is? I can't remember that little person's little person, that kid's name. I can't remember, though. I might be misremembering things, but I feel like there was a younger character with them. Is that who that, that might one be? One thing giving me trouble, but when you go after my friend, well, that really gets my blood boiling. Just get back to work on my super shield, and then we can put all this behind us. All I'll right. work What's on it. What's your major malfunction, Builder? Why are you always sneaking okay. up on people? I'll be going. Come back when you got my super shield. What's your major malfunction, Builder? No, no, I, I'm done. Why oh, it's going to make me talk to... People? Okay, I guess we have to go through all these. Your beeswax, Dweebazoid. Dweebazoid. <laughs> you and your dang questions. Can't you just do your job and make me my super shield? I can't... I just can't deal with you. I'm sorry. Just... Come find me when you got my shield. Well, I'm trying, but you What's won't let me leave. <laughs> Why are you always stay? They ain't kid books. It says right here on the back cover for all ages. Duh. Maybe you know that if you weren't such a flippin' stalker. What's the matter with you? Build my super shield. I'm trying, you won't uh. let me leave the conversation. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, I gotta look back. See, because it's been so long since I recorded some of these episodes, we might have met Andy already and I'm not remembering. Hey there, partner. Big fan. Ah, you must be the specialist. You're familiar with my work? Darn tootin'. Us in the fighting community, well, we think you fight real good. Thanks. It is also my opinion that I fight real good. Say, is somebody looking for a combat tutorial? I think somebody's looking for a combat tutorial. <laughs> no, no, I'm, uh, I'm good on that. I see. But say, me and the crew was just wondering, you got any of them, uh, what do you call them? Weaknesses? Mm -hmm. Come again? Mm -hmm. How do you know? Kind of like pan bats are weak against noise, the nail lobs are weak against salt, that sort of thing. Ah, uh, no. Nice try there, kid. Of course not. Mm. <laughs> Just pulling your leg there, partner. Okay. Are we done here? Sure. Don't let me take up no more of your time. I'm sure you got lots of folk you want to punch into space and whatnot. It's called the Space Punch. Right, Space Punch. Watch out for that one. <laughs> huh? What are you doing here, Builder? Where's my shield? Mm -hmm. That's right, Builder. Listen, I'll let you in on a little trade secret. Always have a plan to beat up everyone you meet. Understand me? Yeah, not how I usually go through life, but okay. We all <laughs> heard the stories. The Space Punch stories. You want to get Space Punched? Not me. Who says Penn is always gonna be on your side? Maybe one day you decide you ain't too keen on them church folk and they don't take it so neighborly, huh? Not saying that's me or nothing. Well, bye. Bye. Interesting. What time is it? Oh, you got a clue. Progress plus five. Okay, I haven't been paying attention to that. Uh, yeah, my suspicion level is at now 25 of 50. I, it's in real life. It's at like 125 of 50. Let's go talk to Chi if he's still up. I also would like to get some more research going. Wait. Sorry, horsey. Interesting, interesting. See, if I'd been recording these non-stop since the last one, I wouldn't be con a diagram for a super confused. I don't know such thing. Give me that. Oh, this diagram looks like it was drawn by a child. Mm -hmm. I know I say that about everyone's diagrams other than my <laughs> own, but this time there's no mistake in it. This was drawn by a literal child. I agree. Yes, 
It would be suboptimal to have my name attached to such a travesty of a diagram. Please see to it that you clear up this nonsense. Yeah, I'm on it. Goodbye. You don't need to help. Let's, um, let's have a little chat. I want to know how you can maintain such consistent levels of energy. What's your secret? Are Fang and his machinations behind this somehow? It's the bird, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, it's the bird. Okay. So we've got the furnace diagram. I want to see what else we need over here. We got the advanced work table diagram. Forging, tailoring, jewelry, those will be last. So let's see, industrial machine and industrial grinding are the next two. So we'll go with that. I'm a little low on discs, whoops. Yeah, there's no hurry either. I'm gonna just leave it at six days um, because, yeah, I can only, only do one at a time. We have not advanced through our story long enough for me to buy some of the recipes from the Commerce Guild store that I need for upgrading stuff. So I need to get to working on the story. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this, though. Happy to be getting back into this series again. I believe there have been quite a few things changed or added or... Yeah, I don't know if I can go in there this time of day. I can. Hi, Mian! Huh. You think the bounty hunter, or I mean specialist, is acting weird? Wow, another mystery, cool. What have you learned so far? <laughs> Just more suspicions after suspicions. Uh huh. Hmm. That is suspicious. Told ya. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Let's split up for now. I'll come find you later. Stay in touch. All right. Go to the Blue Moon Saloon. Hi, Justice. Look out. Crazy lady on a horse coming through. Sorry, horse. Sorry, horse. Oh, Katori, we will be talking soon. We're going to talk to you... I don't know. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I hope I have some eye cream, because we might not be in bed on time. What day is it? A Wednesday, I think? Yo! Where are you? Okay. Hey, can you do me a solid and take this plate upstairs to the new guy's room? Grace is sick today, and I've got my hands full. How did you know it was me? You couldn't see me? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty good at recognizing <laughs> regulars by the way they open the door. Uh, hey, I. Hey, okay, okay. Can you do me a solid? Yep. Take this plate upstairs. I will do it right great. now. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> it's so weird. He ordered a whole mess of. Why are you jibber jabbering? Barkeep, we're hungry and we demand spaghetti of the spiciest variety. Right away, folks. That's all right. What did he order? I shouldn't tell you anyway. Don't want to violate cook customer confidentiality. That's not a Up thing. Up the stairs, first room. Thanks again. All right, the cloche plate. That means it's covered. I can't see what's in it. I think we have to. Oh no, it's right here. I knock, but there's no answer. The door seems un unlocked. Should I go inside? Oh, we're going inside. Oh, apparently we Oh, we put it down. I thought we were going to start snooping. The bounty hunter seems to be gone. Maybe I should look around his room to get some clues as to why he's acting so strange. Also, can we talk about how cute that bird nest is up there? This is a lot of candy. If Bronco is hiding candy in his room, does that mean he's paranoid about some... I couldn't read that fast. Oh, neat. I can, like, use my mouse wheel to rotate it. Hmm. 
Okay. Escape. No, I want to... It looked like there was other stuff. Oh, that's just the candy. Okay. I want to look inside what's in here. Owen told me it'd be rude to open this, but what could possibly be scandalous about a food order? It's just candy. Okay, investigation complete. It's just more candy. <laughs> okay. Check out everything else that's sparkling. Are we going to get busted? This container is unlabeled. It must must have been made for Bronco personally by someone who... Who what? You open the container's cap and are greeted with a familiar smell. It's the same smell from... From what? I can't read that fast. A squeezable tube likely contains some gel or cream. Okay. Huge. I just can't read that quickly. If I click on it again, does it tell me anything? No. If I don't read out loud, I can read it fast enough. But reading it out loud, I can't read that fast. Some jacks. Some tips are kind of sharp. Okay. Spherical objects made of glass. Normally played with by upper class children since they are not cheap. Interesting. A worn action figure of a yak boy. Strange for Bronco to keep a regional kids toy around. Okay. And we need to check his jacket. <clears throat> Small and dusty, would fit Bronco quite comfortably if not for all the grime. Okay, is that it? Oh no, check the jacket a little more. Oop, don't punch it. Upon closer inspection, the shoulders of the jacket are scattered with blonde hairs. Isn't Bronco a redhead? Aha. So it's not Elsie for sure. It's whoever this Andy character is. And I cannot remember if we've met Andy. Ah, here we go. Jacket looks to have seen some action. That's not all too surprising. Mm, this is fun. I think there's nothing more to investigate here. I should probably get back into town. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just trying so hard not to cough. Without a doubt, this bounty hunter is not who he says he is. I could keep investigating for more information. <clears throat> but I'm already confident enough now to pull off the, his wig and expose him for who he really is. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make like I'm a Real Housewives of Atlanta and pull that wig. And wow, I cannot believe I made that reference. That was like season one, huh? Who pulled? Somebody pulled Kim's wig. And I better just stop talking now. I'm saying lots of things. <laughs> Oy. I really embarrass myself a lot. <laughs> what? He asked you to build a... Uh, listen, Builder, I can't be bothered with every little issue that comes up in your workshop. Yeah, yeah, I know. Commission board, protocols, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, who cares? That nut job works for the city. The city, for all intents and purposes, owns us too. So quit bothering me with this nonsense and just get back to work. Ugh, my head. Last time I mixed Yakmel milk and catnip. Ugh. Just want to make sure we still haven't unlocked the new recipes. We have not. I forgot what storyline I need to complete for that. <clears throat> so let's head home and go to bed. And then we'll talk to Kid in the morning. I love the sound of the horse. It's so cool. All right, I'll tell you to stay. Oh, can I interact with you and like give you hugs? I'll just give you some pets. Oh, you're a good horsey. All right, let's just yeah, get up into bed. Okay, Unsure finished our commission and our ad is canceled. So Thursdays are when we have to renew our ad. Hopefully I remember that. 
And oh, I will never remember to hit B instead of I. I'm not gonna need that right away. Let's put that down there. We'll keep the hemostat up. Never hurts to have that handy. And we need to there, finish. Partner. Mm. Hate to bother you, but uh, we're here by mayoral request. Just doing a little check a Rooney. Nothing serious. A check a Rooney. No doubt you recall Logan and his uh questionably motivated uh temporary relocation of our minister Matilda. Yeah. What you may or may not recall, Matilda does now seem convinced. Contrary to popular opinion, Logan may in fact not be crazy. He's not crazy. I already know that. Oh, at the very least, she thinks it may be possible that someone in town is hiding water, like he asserted. Now, due to our water shortage, this topic comes up every now and then, but I don't know. I don't think he's accusing me. He'd probably like to check my workshop to see if I have any hidden water, and he's free to do so. But I'll agree. Uh, really? Well... I guess you'll be glad to know that the Civil Corps has been asked to open a case. Hence us being here. If there's someone hiding water, which, as I have established previously, is not likely to be the case, the chances of you being the person in question are basically zero. Well, you can still look. See, I'm guessing Logan's motive with this is to sow discord. Or maybe make people angry at the church. I don't know. Mmm. Didn't think of that. Oh, uh, I guess... Now that I think of it, I do have a couple questions I do need to ask. Like I said, just a formality. First question. About how many units of water do you usually go through in a given month? Uh, how many units in a month? Yeah, maybe a hundred? I, I, I do not pay attention. I don't really use a lot. I don't know. Mm, that sounds about okay, right. Okay, good. Pretty average for a builder. Builders, blacksmiths, y'all are expected to go through a fair share as part of the trade. This one's less of a quiz, more of a survey. How well informed do you feel when it comes to the water situation in Sand Rock? Uh, we import water, everything should be fine. I know there's not enough yeah. to go around. <laughs> the Oasis is looking worse by the day. We import water on the train, there's but we're really just putting a bandage on the problem. Let's, uh, try to go out on a high note with this last question. Oh, nope. Still kind of a bummer. <laughs> Do you or anyone you know suspect someone of hiding water in Sandrock? I was going to say, maybe it's Burgess. I don't trust that Burgess. But no, I haven't seen right. anything suspicious. Well, that about do it on my end. Thanks for your patience. I do. I don't know if you ever come up with any leads of your own. All right, before you even ask that question, I was thinking maybe Burgess is... Hide in water somewhere. All right, gotta do our little daily routine of just checking things. Get all the things, put all the things away. Um, we've got stuff ready for Katori's quest as well, I think. So we could probably get that advanced on this episode before we do more of the kid stuff. Bronco the kid. Hi, Doodles! My little doodle bug. My little caffeine. How are we doing on food levels? Ooh, looking low. Yeah, let's go get some potatoes out of storage. I do have to have them right in my hot little hands, or can I do it from storage? Oh, I can do it from storage now. Okay, they do... Yeah, they both like the potatoes. How are you guys? Yeah, I don't know how to mix these up to make sure they're both eating what they really like. But let's add... Like six and six. And hopefully they just pick out the one they like better. Like, I'm hoping that's how it'll work. If I just mix it up half and half, they don't eat it in the order in which it was put in there. I honestly don't know enough about how that works in this game. I want them all to be happy. Energy's good, energy's good, happiness. Caffeine is still growing as is doodles, but they're happy. 
That's all that matters. I want my babies to be happy. Ooh, we got a lot of crud. That's better. So I want to put this bio crust away. I need to learn more about that and when I can add it to stuff or use it. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's switch over from Bronco, Buck and Bronco to Opportunities Abound. Do we have everything we need? We have to just go talk to Katori. Um, I don't think any of our machines are really working. I'll grab our scrap and stuff later. I forgot to do that. Maybe after the episode, I'll get stuff going. I do want to see... They're at 8 of 20 right now. I know I've read that... Oh, hey. B. B for bag. I've heard that it can start to evaporate. So they're at 8. When we come back later in the day... That's at 8 of 30. That's at 8 of 20. Why are these 30 and 20? I want to see if it changes at all. And I have to finish planting crops and stuff. But we want to go help out Katori with her idea. I love the variety. Oh, there's the meerkat. I don't have anything on me that the meerkat would like. I just, I love the, all the different things that there are to do in this game. You want to do commissions? Grab some. If you want to do the main story, great, do it. But if you want a little break from that, and just work on resource gathering and building up your workshop and decorating and stuff, then do that. I love that. These are all the materials? Wow, yeah, they sure are. Thanks a bunch. I'll get these over to Heidi on the double, and we'll start the expansion of the game center. Awesome. Next up. Step two of Katori World, the museum. The mayor really came through and gave me a grant. The museum is a heritage of the town, after all. That's what Trudy said. It means we can upgrade the museum. Nice. As well. I don't know if you heard, but Heidi and Trudy are planning on opening a road directly to Portia. Who knows how many more tourists will be coming to Sandrock? A thousand? Ten? I can't let an opportunity like this slip. I hope this all works out for Katori, and that's Besides, awesome. Haven't you been to the shipwreck ruins recently? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you found loads of new relics you're excited to show yeah. to the world. Well, imagine it. Countless tourists, all swarming to the Golden Goose and Museum. The oohs, the ahs, the dang, how did I spend this many gold? <laughs> Anyway, I figure we'll be needing some new exhibition stands for more relics and a new display to draw attention on an expanded rooftop. Okay, no Planning problem. Ahead and all that. Can you help me out? Yeah, I love that we can expand the museum <laughs> finally. Thank you. How did I get so lucky, huh? Got a partner with as much vision as me. Here's the recipe for the exhibition stand. You can make it on the work table. Heidi will take care of the new rooftop itself, but I'll need your help for the display. Can you ask Director Chi to make you a diagram? When you're all done, please install them on location. You got it. So we need to go talk to Chi. I love this horse, it's so pretty. I want to buy it. Hey, there's Rocky. Katori needs a display for the museum. Is that really her way of attracting more visitors? I don't understand. But whatever. Bring me data discs and I'll have it for you. I have some. I okay, really need to good. farm more. This one's pretty simple, so I'll have it soon. Check your mail tomorrow. Great. So we're waiting on construction and we're waiting on diagrams. So what do we want to do? I do need to put in make some more commissions. It's just kind of helpful to get that kind of stuff without us having to go out and get it. 
the monster drops and stuff. I might go back. Maybe we'll go out, though, to some of the other ruins just to start getting some other scrap and stuff. Let's uh, get our ad going as well. Oop. Again with the bandana in the photo? Oh, see? I think that's Andy, who's missing. That's who the kid is. Sorry, sir. I'm just not good at drawing the lower halves of people's faces. <laughs> that and hands. Your hands can be tricky. Man. I only had the confidence to draw Andy, because we just saw him. There you go, that's Andy. People seem to really care that these posters look good. Remember when you drew those wanted posters for the other city-states in a hurry? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean... I also think we can agree. People got a little carried away with the critiquing of my work. Personally, I thought they were fine. <laughs> yeah, they were fine. Oh, hey, what do you think of the new posters? Do you, uh, think you could recognize one of these son of a guns from, like, uh, Bridge of the Nose Up? Yeah, they're good enough. Yeah, right? I mean, they're always wearing the bandanas anyway, especially when they're perpetrating criminal activities and the whatnot. So... Maybe it's better to do it this way anyway. And the top parts of everyone's heads, well, they always look pro when you do it, pal. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I like Unsure. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Watch out for <clears throat> bandits who may or may not be wearing bandanas. <laughs> and in case they're not, uh, just be ready to use your imagination, I guess. You guys will have to let me know who you've decided to romance in the game. Let me know in the comments. They start add. Uh, we'll just run. Our horse will follow us. Ooh, my neighbor's car alarm's going off. I know you guys can't hear it, but that was a little loud and distracting on my end. We can see what commissions are here, too. I'm not doing the Penske one. What do we get from that? What do we get from these? More discs. We could probably... Maybe we'll do... Let's see, data discs, engines... Microchips. Yeah, let's do one of the hazardous ruins, the shipwreck. No hurry on it. Just so we can keep some data disks coming in, because I'm not doing it on my own. Let's do a little monster hunting. Goes on my goals. Um, do we want these monster drops? I think we're okay on those. If we need it, we can get it ourselves. That's not as hard. Um, yeah, nothing. I don't need anything from there right now. Oh, we could do this one. Two days. Oh, it's two days after accepting. Okay. Yeah, these are easy to do. They're just out there in the desert, and I want to go out there anyway. I'm not going to do the sweeper or the maintainer bot because it requires going into the ruins. And that just takes a lot of time when I'm recording, I feel like. Maybe one day that's we'll do some of those, and that's all we do that day. Oops, ride. What time is it? Oi, just ride it. Ride. Yeah, it's, it's plenty early. I did check on the game speed. We are at the default game speed. Oh, Pablo desires something. Well, you can keep desiring it. Sorry, bud. Let's just follow the train tracks. We're not that far from where we need to go. Get a little more used to our daggers. Yeah, there's some of those. Let's track it. Some of them are just like right... Oh, we have to go talk to Bronco, too. Let's track that. Let's not track that, let's not track that, and let's track that. We need nine of those, we'll do that. And then turn that in. That'll probably wrap up the episode and we'll wait for the rest of the stuff on the next one. Hey Danby, careful! But this is good to do once in a while too, because we need some of these parts for weapons and things. Is there some that way? There might be some that way, but I know there are loads of them up here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of like the daggers. I do want to try other stuff. Get a feel for everything. You guys should let me know too, what are some of your favorite weapons in the game? Oh, should probably get on our horse. And probably stop somersaulting. <laughs> I can sprint, I don't have to do both. <laughs> it's just so fun. Let's hoping to pull that one in to see if we had an AoE, but I'm not sure that we do. Come on, horsey. Yeah, the horse is my favorite. I know the yak mill and the camels are really cute. I just love the look and the feel of the horse. I enjoy that a lot. Let's see. Oh, this is already number six. Just need three more. Here we go. Also try the sword and shield, compare that damage wise. I guess that could come in handy on some of the boss fights and stuff just to help block some damage or what have you. But yeah, I'm kinda now. As much as I love the big beefy hammer, I'm liking the speed of these daggers. So if we've got points to spend, or if we get some points to spend, I want to um, put them into the dagger specialty if I haven't been. I should check that. All right, let's look for some scrap and stuff to break down. Don't know if I usually use some plastic scrap. I don't know if I usually find much in the wood crates out here, but we'll check. Oops, I tried to loot it instead I did a somersault. Forget what we get from these. Is this where we can get some of the chromium? Oh, the niter. That's right. Graphite and niter. I have to watch my stamina too. I'm not used to playing a game that uses stamina anymore. I've been playing so much Dinkum and Sunhaven, and they don't have that mechanic. Which is real, really nice. Oh wait, no, Dinkum does. I, my apologies. It just doesn't seem like a thing, because I always have food to stuff into my face. And I haven't been doing a whole lot of gathering. Yeah, Sunhaven doesn't have energy. I really appreciate that. Alright, got more petrified wood. It's got some amber. Yeah, we're gonna need some petrified wood for stuff we're doing. So I need to keep an eye out for that. Just looking to see if there's anything much different that I haven't spotted out here before. Like any different little piles and things. I think we put a yak mill stop all the way out here. So, oh no, can we not go further? I thought we put a yak mill station out there. Oh no. I know we have that one there. I thought, okay. Well, there's the sand sled station behind us. Oh, there's that one there by the cliff. Where's also our desert plantings? I need to explore a little more. Like where we did those trees. I'm just gonna kind of find the edge of the map here. Okay, I can't go in there. Gotta explore my boundaries. Oh, 
this will take a little doing to cut this one down. <laughs> At least we're gonna go to bed tired. All right, let's head back to the yak mill thing. Where's like the closest one to where we are? What's that? I want to kind of go see what this big, tall thing is over here, though. Unless that's just one of those um, ruined buildings. Yeah, that's just okay. We're going to take the long way around getting back to a yak milk cart. Lots of the little scorpion dudes, tripons or whatever they're called. But we haven't been out around here in a while. Here's one of these cranky dudes. He's always pacing around here. More plastic waste. All right, let's go turn in our commission. Oop, there you go. little stroll through town you know who we haven't talked to oh, I just for Mabel Myrtle Ma uh, Cooper's wife Elsie's mom we haven't talked to her in a while she might have some recipes I forget who we're turning this into oops a daisy there's Arvia we haven't talked to him in a while either oh is this somebody in the apartments Oh, does he live in the apartments, Justice, or is he out just walking around? Looks like he might just be out walking around. Hey, we haven't talked to Jensen in a while. He's friendly with us because we've done a lot of his commissions. Did that bounty hunter ride into town? I never saw him get off any of my trains. Hmm, that's peculiar. Well, none of my business. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, so long, partner. Let's go find Justice. Miguel. These plants look new. This whole thing looks a little different up here. Justice, stop running. Wait up. Yo, Justice. Justice. <laughs> Justice, stop running away from me. Justice. <laughs> Howdy. Oh, he wants to tell us about his birthday, too. Good work, partner. Just stop running everywhere, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sandrock seed is really something else. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. I was born in the dead middle of summer. Quite, as, quite an introduction to life when you're already sweating as a baby. Oh, no. All right, we'll see you later. Hi, Come Mercy. On, all right, I think this is a good place to wrap this episode up. Let's just get back to our farm or our workshop, as it's called here. We need to wait on those diagrams from Chi. We need to go talk to Andy, a.k.a. the kid, on the next episode. So we've still got lots to do. We'll tell our horsey to stay. All right, you guys, thank you so very much for watching. Hope all is going well with you. Take care. Bye-bye.